Good evening, all you intrepid citizens who won't let a little bit of rain get in your way of having fun. And welcome to Piedmont Lights Up. I'm Karen Sullivan, president of the Piedmont Beautification Foundation. And lighting this beautiful 80-foot tree that you can't quite see yet has been a PBF tradition for the city for 54 years. Tonight with our co-hosts, the Piedmont Recreation Department, we will be expanding the lighting around the park. While each of you may have your own traditions and celebrate different holidays, many tonight we will gather here to celebrate as a community. I would like to thank the Public Works Department for helping the Piedmont Garden Club install the tree lights yesterday. And a special shout out to the Piedmont Recreation Department for executing the additional lighting, coordinating the menorah, and all these great activities here that you see. I'd like to thank KCOM for being here tonight so that we can all watch this event from the warmth of our homes at a later date. This evening, as we celebrate the holiday season and give thanks, I would like to acknowledge that everyone who gave generously to the Piedmont Beautification Foundation, which helps make this event possible. I invite all of you to send lasting holiday greetings to family, friends, and neighbors by making a tax-deductible donation to be part of our holiday greeting campaign in the Piedmont Exedra and Piedmont Post. PBF has been partnering with the city for almost 60 years and has expanded its mission to include projects of safety and sustainability in addition to beautification. Now I'd like to invite up Sari Kaplan, a member of the Piedmont Jewish community, who will perform Hanukkah O Hanukkah. Sari? Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come right by menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the hora. Gather round the table, I'll we'll give you a treat. Serve you to play with and like us to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. One for each night we share. Of days long ago, one for each night they share as we'd like to remind us of days long ago. One more time. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all take the hora. Gather around the table, we'll give you a treat. Said we want to play with and like us to eat. And while we Candles are burning low. One for each night they share as we'd like to remind us of days long ago. One for each night they share as we'd like to remind us of days long ago. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you, Sari. And now I'd like to introduce Mayor Jen Cavanaugh and thank you for being our MC this evening. Jen? Good evening, Piedmonters and guests. Thank you for being here. And thank you, Sari. That was a moving performance. Let's give her another round of applause. And a huge thank you to Karen Sullivan and the entire crew from the Beautification Foundation for all you do to make this beautiful night possible. Tonight, I have a heart full of joy and gratitude as we gather to celebrate the diverse and beautiful tapestry of holidays that brighten our lives during the December season. While our traditions may vary, there is a common thread that binds us, the celebration of light. In a world that can sometimes feel dim, at a time when so many are suffering and many have lost loved ones around the world, these holidays serve as beacons of hope, reminding us that even in the darkest times, there is always room for light. Whether we commemorate Hanukkah, Diwali, Christmas, 
Kwanzaa, the winter solstice, or any other cultural or religious observance, the essence of these celebrations lies in the symbolism of illumination. In celebrating these holidays, we recognize and honor the diversity that enriches our communities, our shared commitment to fostering understanding and unity makes these occasions even more meaningful. The lights we hold and those that adorn our homes and public spaces during this season are a testament to our collective aspiration for a brighter and more harmonious world. As we come together, let us reflect on the values these holidays embody, compassion, kindness, and generosity. Let us carry the warmth of this season in our hearts throughout the year, reaching out to those in need, embracing our differences, and working together to create a community that shines brightly for all. To help us set the mood for tonight's lighting ceremony, we are thrilled to welcome the Piedmont Troubadours. They are here to inspire us with their first holiday song.
and some additional thank yous. Uh, first, we have um, one of our Piedmont Girl Scout troop and the rec department invite you to participate in the luminary craft table over here on my left, um, outside community hall. We also have uh, Piedmont Scouts who are serving apple cider provided by Piedmont Grocery and hot chocolate provided by the Hefe Baum Group. So please thank them. We also want to thank Habad Oakland for providing tonight's menorah, which we're gonna light up momentarily, and for the delicious latkes that are outside Community Hall. And inside, of course, you'll find Santa and his helpers from Piedmont Venture Crew, waiting to welcome you all, the young and the young at heart. We also can go inside and write your letter to Santa, which will be mailed to you to the North Pole. Uh, with later this month, we also have um, additional festivities coming to you from our amazing Piedmont Rec Department. They're hosting dreidels and donuts uh, on Sunday, December 10th, Santa's workshop the following Saturday, December 16th, and of course, New Year's Eve on December 31st. We'd love to see you out at all of those events. On behalf of the entire City Council, I extend my warmest wishes to each and every one of you, regardless of the holiday that you celebrate. May the lights that illuminate our lives during this December season continue to inspire us to do better, to be better, and to spread the radiance of love and understanding. I would now like to invite our guest here from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Dennis Schrag, and his special guest, Finley Brown, who's here to tell you more about the Make-A-Wish organization. Finley is joined by her mother, A.J. Robinson, and after that, we would love to hear more from the Troubadours. Thank you so much. Finley is here to help us light up the park. But first, let's hear from Finley. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You're going to speak first. That no was words. what I should have said. Thank you so much. So on behalf of Make-A-Wish Greater Bay Area, I'm really grateful to the Piedmont Beautification Foundation for once again including us in this fun and festive occasion. In Make-A-Wish, our mission is to provide life-changing wishes to children who have critical illnesses. Locally, we're granting about one wish every single day. And whether it's a bedroom makeover, a puppy, or a trip to Disneyland, wishes provide children with hope and joy. And this spark of light during difficult times can play a huge role in the healing process. I have the honor to introduce you to Finley, who can speak to this healing power of a wish much better than I can. Finley, who's here along with her mom, AJ, had her wish granted almost eight years ago. And I'm so sh happy that she's here to share what that wish meant to her and her family. Finley. Okay. Okay. I, okay. 
Um, hi, <laughs> I'm Finley. Um, when I was six, I was diagnosed with stage three kidney cancer and Children's Hospital had to remove my right kidney and I underwent six months of chemotherapy and radiation. And be being so young and all the chemotherapy and radiation made everything kind of fuzzy, so I don't remember much. But one thing I do remember really vividly was the Make-A-Wish granters coming to my home, sitting me down at my dining room table and asking me if I could do or have anything in the world, what would I want? And I said without hesitation, I wanted to go to the Aulani Disney Resort in Hawaii. And <laughs> they asked me, is there anything else you want? Any backups, second choices? And I said, nope, this is what I want to do. And from then on, for the next few months, all the nights in the hospital, the chemo appointments, the radiation, my mom would sit next to me and she would remind me that once all of this was over, I had Hawaii to look forward to. And that was enough courage and hope to get me through the rest of the hardships. And the next thing I knew, I was in a limo on my way to the airport to fly first class to Hawaii. And that was the best week of my entire life. And to make a wish, thank you so much for everything you've done for my family and for me. And I will spend the rest of my life repaying you and helping grant other kids wishes. Thank you, make a wish. I know a lot of us here are parents, and as a parent, there's few things that we dread more than having your child get a diagnosis that means you may not get to see them grow up. Suddenly things that we used to worry about, like what teacher your kid is assigned, or whether or not you can convince them to eat anything other than mac and cheese without complaining, stops mattering. And the only, everything zeroes in on, I just wanna see my kid grow up. And the folks at Make-A-Wish recognize this and they understand what families like ours go through and they provide such a needed bright spot of hope in what's otherwise a really, really dark time. And it's so nice when you're in that dark tunnel to have this light that you know is not an oncoming train. <laughs> um, what they did for us was just such a source of, of, of hope and optimism in a time that was really hard. And I don't have the words to properly convey the gratitude that we have for Make-A-Wish. Um, so I just wanna say thank you so much to Make-A-Wish and for what you did for our family and to encourage all of you to please consider giving this season. So happy holidays and thank you Make-A-Wish. Thank you for sharing your incredible story. That was phenomenal. Um, we're so happy to have you here tonight. And now what you've all been waiting for, we invite you to bring your own light for those of you who have one. And we are about to let light, light this place up. So after that, we're gonna hear from the troubadours, but for now I invite Finley to help us light up our tree and all the lights around us. Are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go! Yay! Woo! Thank you all for being here tonight and for all you do to make Piedmont the special place that it is. And with that, I introduce you one more time to the Piedmont Troubadours.
Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, much pleasure God thou bring me. Not only in the summertime, but in the winter is our God. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how I love you so.
proud, I'm telling you what. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's not your nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's coming to town. Oh, yes, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you are awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not cry, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town, he's coming to town. out tonight and thank you for all of our sponsors and volunteers who made this night possible. Happy holidays to you all.